The first one is the threats against journalists, which include legal and physical threat. We have a lot of cases where uh, journalists get intimidated, they get beaten, and we also have cases where journalists were sued for the article. The second challenge is also about censorship. Journalists themselves uh, feel controlled by the their editor or their news organization. We've had cases where journalists get beaten or get sued and 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 a lot of violent cases on journalists were not really sold in the legal system. You know since nineteen ninety three we've had four ten journalists who have been killed but none of the cases we've caught the criminal. Last point is also the the strong media control from the government. The most popular media in Cambodia is television, but all the television are directly or indirectly controlled by the Cambodian government. A few years ago, we've had uh, a very prominent environmental activist get killed. So illegal logging is a very sensitive issue in Cambodia and mostly these business are run or operated by very powerful men. So it's, it's considered to be the most uh, dangerous topic. Another one is also about the, the, the government, uh, like the political topic. If your your topic is, is is might give very bad impact to the government, you may also be in a big trouble. The last one is about land grabbing. So you seen that in Cambodia we have hundreds and thousands of cases where people were evicted from their home. They had their their home demolished or or they were just evicted from home and they don't really receive a proper compensation. So, again, because this issue, the one behind this issue are mainly the government official or, or people with very strong power. So, journalists who cover this kind of issue could also face some kind of threat too. The government play a very big role in, in improving the free speech climate in Cambodia. They need to learn to to, to understand the benefit of free speech in Cambodia. So far, the government don't really appreciate this free speech, and sometimes they even consider that free speech is a threat to the government. So I would really encourage the government to change this perception, and they should start to work with the people, they should listen more to the people and find out what are the people problem and i believe by control controlling people's speech or limiting people's speech it's not going to uh, give any benefit to the society or to the government themselves uh, recently uh, the we uh, the government tried to the, the government shut down freedom park in Cambodia. Freedom Park is the most free place in Cambodia where people can do demonstration, where people uh, can voice their concern. Unfortunately, after the crackdown on government worker protests in early January, the government put the military forces to control the Freedom Park, which, which is 
is a really big threat to the the free speech in Cambodia. So the we want the government to change this perception. They they need to start to appreciate the freedom of speech. Secondly, I think the Cambodian media should start should do the reform themselves. So instead of uh, being instead of getting control from the government, the news organizations should take initiative in 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 fighting against this kind of control. They should try to work independently and and respect their professionalism.